even if what you want to do won't make you an amazing success and make you a millionaire overnight or whatever the case may be, if you start moving in the direction of your desires, you're going to feel much happier. What's up guys, it's Camo Kez. Today we're going to be talking about how to be happy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell icon and select all so you never miss a video. All right. Back to the video. The definition of happiness is to feel or show pleasure or contentment. Now, I don't know about you, but that seems kind of vague as far as how to be happy, but we have to know what happiness is. Happiness is a place of contentment or satisfaction, but how do you achieve that? What I've noticed in my life is that when it comes to being happy, when you try to be happy, it doesn't work a lot of the times because you're focusing too much on being happy. I know that sounds that sounds really counterintuitive. Happiness has to happen when you're content. It has to happen when you're in a place where you're not worrying about how happy you are. You're just being. Now, this is a philosophical concept that comes from the idea that if you look at animals, animals are probably just happy. They're content. They're satisfied with the way their lives are going at no point. Do animals worry about how good the other animals have it? Because I don't think that construct actually works. Well, unless you're talking about monkeys because monkeys actually do have social structure like that. But when it comes to other basic animals like dogs, for instance, they are probably happy just being dogs. A dog is at its happiest when it's chasing its tail, when it's burying a bone, or when it's barking. And the reason for this is that the dog is doing exactly what a dog is supposed to do. And this is the philosophical concept is that you'll be most happy when you're doing what a human is supposed to do. And that is be human. Now that's a very vague explanation. I'm not expecting you to sit in a burning house and just be human. Ah, this is fine. I am human. Why are you the way that you are? <laughs> what I mean is you have to stop concerning yourself with titles or how you appear in society more so than what you actually find to be what you enjoy. Humans are extremely complex creatures, obviously, and it's difficult to pinpoint one exact action that a human does, like a dog barking, that would make all humans happy. But the concept still applies. Perhaps it'll be easier to explain how to be happy when we explain the opposite. What makes you unhappy? Well, oftentimes in this society that we live in, social media makes a lot of people unhappy. We live in an age right now where it's easier to see how much better someone else is doing than you. We're no longer competing with the Joneses or our next door neighbors. We're competing with the whole world. Anyone that you see on social media is trying to show or give a depiction of their life that is far more favorable than it actually is. I don't know why people do this, but anytime I'm scrolling through Facebook, everyone's going on a vacation, everyone got a new car, everyone got a new house, and everybody's life is amazing. And stuff like that could make you feel like a mess. So when it comes to being happy, you have to remove the things that make you unhappy. And if social media is revealing to you that everyone's life is great and it's giving you an image that your life is nothing compared to anyone else's and you feel horrible, you need to remove yourself from social media. To further explain this concept, we have to look at an experiment done on two separate apes. Both apes were given the same task to perform and after they completed those tasks, they were given a reward. One monkey was given one grape and the other was given two. What the first monkey noticed is that after he completed his task and got his one grape, he was satisfied and he was content until he saw that the other ape got two grapes instead of one for doing the exact same thing. The first ape visibly got upset and he started to display signs of anger because he felt something was unjust. And even though it may not have been unjust, it still felt that way. And that's one thing that you have to remove from your life is this critical analysis of other people's lives in comparison to your own. It's never going to make you happy to look at someone else's life and say, okay, I'm not where they are. I'm not doing what they're doing. How do I do what they're doing? That's not how it works. I've spent a long time trying to do that myself. And even when I accomplish a goal that someone else did, or I feel like I'm a worthy adult who's doing adult things, I still don't feel happy because it's not what I want it to do. You could also look at life like a carnival game. Sometimes the best way to win is not to play at all because those carnival games, I try to win them and I can never do it. <laughs> If you look at life like that, the only way to win is not to compete. 
Now, I don't mean forfeit or quit or, you know, give up on whatever you're doing. I mean, stop playing the social ladder game. The moment you stop competing with the rest of the world to outdo them or outbid them or whatever the case may be, and you start focusing on what it is that makes you happy and what you actually want to do with your life, that is when you'll actually start feeling happier. Even if what you want to do won't make you an amazing success and make you a millionaire overnight or whatever the case may be, if you start moving in the direction of your desires, you're going to feel much happier. And truth be told, the person that's actually successful is the one that's moving toward their worthy ideal and making progress toward it. They're actualizing their dreams. So take a moment right now, pause this video and sit and ask yourself what it is that you actually like to do. What are the things that make you happy and how can you do them? Another crucial step in being happy is spending time with friends and family. You want to take the time to enjoy life. You have to enjoy people and not be thinking about the disaster, the chaos that is consuming this planet right now. <laughs> You have to just take your mind off of all the things that are stressing you. Stress is poisonous to the mind and people actually die from stress. So the sooner you can separate yourself from constant and unrelenting stress, the sooner you will be happy. Removing things leaves happiness. And to contrast, set aside a day where you can just be by yourself and just relax and have the day be about you. You have to get time to recharge. Even if you're an extrovert, you need time to just recharge your energy. On top of that, another excellent way to be happy is to exercise. When I started exercising, I felt much better about myself because I was taking care of my meat suit. I was taking care of this machine that I'm walking in and the machine was happy, so I was happy. This also includes your diet as well. We have a really big problem in the U.S. of eating really, really bad food. You'll feel much more accomplished when you make your own food and eat it and have it be healthy food as well. Your body will thank you and you will be much happier. I'm telling you. One of the most important things you can do to feel happy is find your purpose. You can sit for a moment with yourself and truly ask your guides or your higher self or just search within and figure out what it is that you want to do on this earth. And the moment you figure that out, you'll be a thousand times more content with yourself because you'll feel like the trajectory of your life is going in a good direction that actually means something. One of the biggest reasons why I was depressed when I was younger is that I had no idea why I was on this earth. I felt totally purposeless. And there are people who think that the universe is just indifferent and empty and that nobody is here on purpose and that nothing has a purpose. And that's just really sad. A lot of different people believe that there's some speck in an indifferent universe. And if that's the case, everything is random. Nothing has a purpose and nothing matters. And if you believe that in a way, it robs the human experience and it takes away a certain degree of happiness you can have. So I implore you going forward, Start to think that there is a purpose behind your life, that you're here for a reason, and that there is no such thing as coincidences. And one of the best ways to immediately feel happier is to set your own emotions aside. I know how difficult that sounds. It's like, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> set your own emotions aside and help someone else. Some of the times where I felt the lowest, having an opportunity to help someone else has lifted me up. Like making YouTube videos and helping other people instantly fills me with energy. I could be like absolutely dead before making a video and just like, ah. <laughs> After I make the video, I will feel much, much better because I know that I'm enacting positivity in the world. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope that information was useful. If you found it useful, please go ahead and like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with what you guys wanna see in the next video. Thank you guys so much for the support. The channel is growing. Our community is becoming stronger than ever. I'll see you guys in the next video, and as always, never stop adventuring.